Hello, good morning. My name is Karen Bidwell, and I'm bringing to you week three of Advent in your home. The first candle we lit three weeks ago was the candle of hope. Last week, the candle of peace. Today, we add the candle of joy. If you're using colored candles in your home, today would be the pink candle indicating the middle of the Advent season. Our Bible passage for today comes from the book of Luke, chapter 1, verse 46 through 55. And Mary said, My soul glorifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has been mindful of the humble start of his servant. From now on, all generations will call me blessed. For the mighty one has done great things for me. Holy is his name. His mercy extends to those who fear him from generation to generation. He has performed mighty deeds with his arm. He has scattered those who are proud in their inmost thoughts. He has brought down rulers from their thrones, but have lifted up the humble. He has filled the hungry with good things, but has sent the rich away empty. He has helped his servant Israel, remembering to be merciful to Abraham and his descendants forever, just as he promised our ancestors. Today's Children of God Bible story is that of an angel appearing to Mary. God makes a promise to Mary. An angel appears to her from Luke 1. Mary was a young girl living in the village of Nazareth. She was engaged to marry Joseph. One day, the angel Gabriel came to her saying, Peace be with you, Mary. God has chosen you for something wonderful. Mary couldn't believe her ears. Me? God chose me? Mary trembled with fear. What could the angel mean? There must be some mistake, she said. Don't be frightened, Gabriel said. You're going to have a baby boy. You will name him Jesus. You must be joking, Mary cried. I'm not even married yet. Gabriel smiled. Don't worry, Mary. God will send his Holy Spirit to be with you. Your child will be called the Son of God. Everyone will look on him with wonder. He will be king over all the world, forever and ever. Mary was amazed. She was going to bring God's Son into the world. Then the angel left. And Mary was filled with joy, and her heart sang. God is good. He remembers the poor and the hungry. He has not forgotten Abraham and Sarah and their descendants. And now I will share in his plan. I will be the mother of Jesus. Dear God, please help me to share in your plan for the world. Perhaps you can take time to talk about a time when you felt joyful. How is joy different from fun or happiness? And what are your favorite joyful songs? Thanks for letting us into your home and sharing a little bit of this Advent season with us. I hope you a blessed Advent and may God's blessings be upon you this season.